Good morning. It is November 4th, 2021 at almost 8.20 a.m. First of all, I just want to show again my arm. Because it's going to take a long time to heal. Okay. It's getting uglier and uglier, but it is healing. I'm a little worried about the little hole in my arm. But anyways, I just want to say that um, whoever is talking to Johnny out there and uh, telling him about all of this stuff, well, he sees it anyways, but if you're his friends and family, I want to say thank you because he... Since yesterday morning, well, a little bit after yesterday morning, he was okay. Last night, it was nice and peaceful. This morning, oh my God, it was so peaceful. But I just want to say, if, if you, whoever is talking to him, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because if I wouldn't have posted any of this, and like I said, there is so much more. And I'm still debating on maybe I was going to tell you one story be every single day or uh put it on youtube that what he has done to me but that i'm not sure if i'm still gonna do yet anyways and that would be between 2000 the whole 2016 and uh up until august 2017 till i could finally save enough money to get out of here but anyways um i'm still debating on doing that because everything is cool now. I want to keep it that way until I leave because I just found out for my disability doctor or my disability lawyer, I should say, which is Myler's disability, um, that it's going to be longer now because I have to go to a hearing and I didn't know that. So now I'm, I'm going to be stuck here longer and I have somebody uh, down the block from here uh, that knows a little bit of my situation uh, because he doesn't go on Facebook or YouTube but he knows a little bit about what's going on with me so he's going to be helping me look for a, a home for Misty because I can't do this anymore with these two dogs every day switching them around you know back and forth I, yes I have the TV on but I can't even sit down for 10 minutes during the day watching TV because I'm constantly dealing with these dogs and it's getting harder and harder on me. I've had my dog Misty since she was six weeks old. She is a, a rare pit bull. Uh, I don't know exactly what kind. It's a, it's a hard word to, to say because I, I really don't know what kind she is, but I know she's a rare pit bull. She's a very good girl. She's spoiled to death. Last time uh, when I had to stay here for a little while, uh, I stayed here for two months. And uh, I had to get out of here. I had to get a motel room and get my own. And then I wound up getting my old, uh, my other home, so which I lost because of COVID. And I lost my job because of COVID. So um, that's why I'm struggling so much. So uh, he's going to... Uh, try to help me find a place for Misty. I've had, oh yeah, anyways, what I was saying was, uh, when I had to stay here last time, and I think it was 2000, yes, 2019, I had to stay here for a little bit. Well, he was, that's when he was drinking and doing his, his drugs and stuff, but he was being very, um, verbally abusive to Misty. So I had to call a friend of mine or I, I posted on Facebook that I needed somebody to foster her. And so somebody got a hold of uh, Michael O'Brien. And he knows the situation I was in with my uh, previous landlord because he was there through the whole thing. So he knows what happened there. So, But anyway, so uh, he came over here because he's the one who helped me get into my place. But anyways, he came over here to Johnny's house. And he took Misty, and he had her in foster. He took her for foster for two uh, two months until I can move into my place. So 
I had to, I got her back, of course, it's, you know, it's on his video, on his wall, but now I'm have to give her away, and this is one of the most heartbreaking things that I have to do, is to give my dog up, because my dog and me were by ourselves, you know, and I always talk to her. She understands a lot of sentences, not just words, sentences. She's very protective. She can't be around any other dogs. She could be around kids or people. She's a very, very good girl. She needs more room to run around in because where I, my other house, I had a huge, huge, almost an acre of land. So she could come in and out anytime she wants. So, uh... He's trying to trying to find somebody who will take her. So I have to permanently give her away, and it's 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 tearing me apart. I I'm I'm like numb because I didn't think I would have to do this again. But if anybody out there can help me find a a, a foster for her or. So a good family to adopt because I'm just not giving her to anybody. She's going to be in a home where there are, there, where there is a lot of a loving family. She, she can't be around other animals, but she has to be in a home that's, that's, uh, animal free. Um, because it's always just been me and her and she's not used to, you know, all the other, all the other animals and stuff. So, I need somebody to take her because I've had her for four years. She was born on uh, July 22nd, 2017, so she just turned four years old recently. So if somebody out there can take her for me, I'm not giving her away for somebody to breed her because she's not fixed. I'm not giving her away for dog fighting. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to put her into another home where she's stuck outside because she's used to coming in and out when she wants. I want her to be able to sleep in a bed, to have her treats, to have her own doggy bowls, which I have her doggy bowls. I just want her to be able to be in a nice, peaceful environment. I don't want her to be upset like this anymore. And I don't, I can't deal with the fighting, with the dogs fighting. And on, on top of everything with Johnny and what he's been doing. It's hard to keep these dogs separated during the day. Like I said before, I have to keep switching Lola to, to, and, and Misty back and forth from the house, to, uh, front yard to the backyard, to the bedroom. And it's just really taking a toll on me and my body, especially my body. So if somebody out there, a good family, can, can take her, because I am upset about this. But I'm more upset that she has to stay here and live like this. These dogs don't deserve this. So I'm, it's a bittersweet thing because if, when she does go into another home, I'm going to make damn sure and I'm going to go to the home myself that she is in a good place. I'm not going to just leave her with anybody. That's never going to happen. But I'm, I will be more relieved that my baby is, in another home. But I'm trying to stay strong. But I, I'm just, she's better off in another home. And I, I'm going to be a lot happier knowing that she's there being taken care of instead of here going through hell. Because it's really hard to see these dogs going through hell right now and in the small little spaces they have to stay in. So I, I'm, I'm trying to be okay about it. I'm just keep thinking that she'll be better off with somebody else. But I just wanted to tell you that and whoever is, like I said earlier, whoever is talking to Johnny, thank you. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart because everything is, is like peaceful. That does not mean that I'm not going to file the lawsuit for the dog bite and for 
Misty being attacked all the time and for everything he's put me through. I'm not, I'm not letting that go. And I want to explain something else that I said earlier on the, uh, on a video that I said that I was going to have him, a restraining order on him last week and Saturday night happened where I, my whole arm, well, obviously, and these dogs fighting. If Johnny was not there, I I couldn't have had a I couldn't have, I couldn't have stopped it. It was that bad. So that's the reason why I, this past Monday I did not go get a restraining order on Johnny because of the fact he has to be here in case this ever happens again because. Until I get Misty out of here, because if this ever happens before I get Misty out of here again, and I'm so scared to death, these dogs aren't even in the same room anymore. Where, where before they were separated, one on the couch, one and Lola was in her spot. I couldn't even, I can't even keep them in the same room. That that's impossible now. But Johnny, um, he, uh, oh, I forgot what was I saying. I'm I'm, I'm so messed up. But anyways, I just need a home for Misty. And if somebody can ad adopt her, please get in contact with me, private message me, anything. Because I just can't do it anymore. I, I, I can't keep these dogs separated. Um, and I was going to say something, but I, I completely and totally forgot what I was going to say. Because... This has been so traumatizing to me that I can't even put into words. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. So I I, I wasn't going to get the restraining. So I decided, okay, since this happened, I wasn't going to get the restraining order on him this past Monday. But anyways, I don't know why or who would even let him file a restraining order against me because the district attorney sees all this. Everybody, a lot of people, in the, you know, but law enforcement, they're, they're seeing this. So the reason why I said I'd w want him put in jail is because instead is because if he was gone from the restraining order for a month, then there's no way I can do this, you know, with these dogs. But if he were to go to jail like I wanted him, want him to, he, he would only be in there for like hours because... Like I said, they all know him, so he wouldn't even have a bond. I had a bond. I, you know, I had a bond when I was falsely accused. But this man would not even have a bond. So he would be out in a couple hours. That's why I said that I'd rather have him arrested. At least it would be on record. On, I mean, it's already on record, but at least it would be through the courts. And he would probably be on probation, and I'm sure he would. I'm sure he wouldn't do no jail time because this is Kern County. And he would have to pay fines and all this and restitution to me. So I'd rather have that and, 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 and him, you know, now he's acting okay. And him, if this happens again with the dogs. Because now that this is out on YouTube, because if I didn't put any of this out, like I said before, on YouTube, this would still be going on. And I, I, I don't know, I would probably have to hurt him. I would, I would have to hurt him. If this kept continuing, I would hurt him. And I don't care if you pigs or district attorney see this shit after everything he's done to me. You could come and arrest me if you want because I don't give a fuck. But if, if this didn't ha if, if you guys didn't help, the, help me in like this, he would still be doing this shit. So far, he has given me laundry detergent back right there that he took from me saying that I used it all. Okay. This is half full. I used three, maybe two or three capfuls to do, um, to do a couple things of clothes. So he goes and leaves me this note, okay, and telling me there's a clean towel now. He put toilet paper back in the bathroom. You know, he put the silverware back. You know, he, he 
he gave he even gave me weed last night and then this morning right there he put them next to my glasses he gave me some weed okay so thank you i appreciate it i really do i'm just gonna call the courthouse right now and i'm gonna figure out who who what stupid stupid ass would let him get a restraining order on me so i'm gonna do that right now because this i mean and you know what the cop the judges are even corrupt out here because one was transferred because of me okay because they were so corrupt i had to go out to the courthouse and pick it uh last year because other shit was going on. I'm all I'm doing is trying to live a peaceful, quiet life, and all these asshole people keep fucking with me. And so I'm not going to sit back and take it. I'm not that kind of a person. I am going to fight and do what I have to to defend myself from these asshole people out here in Roseman that are fucking me over. Okay, and I have proof of my landlords. I have proof on 25th. It's all documented and recorded. So no matter what Johnny says about my other place, two other places I lived, no matter how many lies he tells on you, no matter what stories he says, I have cell phones documented. I have so many cell phones, like six of them, and that's a lot. They had to, I had to keep getting new cell phones because the storage was, was, uh, it wasn't letting me record anymore because there was too much storage. That's how much evidence that I have on these officers from 2016 up until currently. When I was living on 25th, I have them when they were coming over here. I have them all on recording. And the things that a cop even told me that he hates me and he can't stand me when I'm trying to get help. For what reason? I never seen this cop before. This was back in 2017. I had the night watchman guy, the the supervisor night guy, come over, cop come over here. I was recording him, and you know what? I am so sick of you guys because you you don't know my situation. I am so sick of you guys telling me to fucking move. No, I don't have to fucking move. You have to fucking arrest this guy. That's what you have to do. You have to do your jobs and arrest this man. The district attorney and the judges in Kern County and Moh Mojave Kern County, they have to do something about this man. Because if this man was, and I know Johnny, if he was arrested the first time he ever put his hands on me in 2016, he would have never, ever, ever done it again. That man would have never put his hands on me ever again because he would have been known back then as a woman abuser. But now he's known all over the world as an animal and woman abuser. And for you animal uh, control people to think that that was not abuse on Lola, to think that he could come home and hit her in the head and up against the wall and make her cry a couple few times and then pick her up and throw her twice. If you guys don't think that's abuse, then you don't need to be working at that job. And... People are telling you that he he's, he has been uh, abusing his dog for the last few year four years, but you have to see it in your face. What person in their right fucking mind is gonna beat their dog or beat a woman in front of you pigs? And this is including cops and and, and animal control. When I say pigs, I mean both. What person in their right mind is going to hit or or destroy in front of you? And you have to have it on video, or you have to have it in front of your face. Okay, so let me tell, ask you something. Back in 2016, when I was arrested by that big, big ox cop, you didn't see it. You didn't see it. That was hearsay. Okay, that I hit him. When, which obviously he did punch himself because they know it now. But that was hearsay. You didn't see it in front of your face. So why the fuck was I arrested? So when Johnny's been abusing me, and you have video of it. But it, you say you can't arrest him or take his dog away because it didn't happen in front of your face? What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> I mean, really? This is why animal and women, men, men abusing their women are getting away with this shit around Kern County and especially Roseman because these cops say they have to see it in their face. Common sense, people. 
I mean, are you that stupid that you think a man is going to come up and beat on a woman in front of you or beat on a poor, innocent, defenseless animal in front of you? How stupid is that? And then when I told a cop that a long time ago about his abuse and this wouldn't happen in L.A., that pig said to me, well, this isn't L.A., this is Kern County. Well, then I told him, well, then maybe you should get some L.A. cops in Kern County so they'll fucking do your job for you that you guys cannot do. But anyways, that's I can go on and on and on and on about about everything. But, yeah, this that's how Kern County works. They have to have some uh, man beat on a woman or an animal in front of their face, even when it's all on video and people are calling. So you guys, you're backwards and you're fucked up. And you know what? I'm, I can't wait till a lawyer sees all of this and my cell phones that I have of everything that you guys have been letting happen to me since 2016. They let that fucker Craig Walker July 8th, July 4th of 2018, drunk and messed out, and I have it on my old video. And if you guys want to see my old Facebook and go to my videos, you can see how my, my neighbors were acting, because it's all right on video. And these fucking pigs came over to me and acted like I did something wrong. Okay, so they can kiss my ass, because I am, like I said a few times before, I am going to get the best lawyer, and I am going to sue the fuck out of Kern County Sheriff's Department. And that's how it's going to be. And now I'm going to go call the courthouse and figure out how this man could possibly have a restraining order on me that I cannot talk to him. So with that all being said, this 21, 57, almost 22 minute video, have a good day. And I thank you again for who was ever talking to that man because now it's been very peaceful and I thank you.